we're still in the progress to become even better. We're not at a place where like we're a top contender. We're a contender in that sense that we can win sometimes, but we can lose sometimes. We're not stable enough to say we can become top three every time, but it was a good learning experience to lose that game because waiting so many hours, knowing that your body is not up to pair to the reality of the game and whatnot, it was a very needed lesson for us to play that game and lose it because to step up our game and me personally, and we know this stage would be even harder. Playing against RNG was very interesting, mostly because they were very open to play Nuke, uh, which I can understand because we aren't one of those few teams that look very good on Nuke, but we know how to play it and we prefer to play it in general. We shouldn't have lost maybe two of the rounds when we were CT, so it was 11-4, but they made a huge comeback and we were lucky enough to have Forrest and Res who was on fire to make it you know, smooth for everyone else of us. Door's gonna get blown it open, but Force has been waiting for that all round. Oh my god. Sit down, NRG. Forest, seven kills in the last two rounds. Making it so we will be 100% challenger for next time, the next major, which is super important for us because we don't want to go through the minor system again and whatnot, you know. So it was a huge relief for everyone to just win that game. The result and the score itself didn't really matter and who it was we were playing against, but we were very satisfied after we won that game. Trying to use the off angle, gets the first, oh and the second spinning around somehow still alive, leaving Ethan in a one-on-one -on -one now against Forrest. Breezy was caught from the backside. The bomb planted for Forrest, he can stop this and delay it. Surely not, NRG are going for the full defuse. Forrest can see it comes on the corner and touches around. Rez though deserves to take a bow, he was phenomenal. It'll be the Ninjas of Pajamas taking on Team Liquid. Nip trying to stay afloat as it is, and well, perhaps it's just about time for us to dive right into who the Ninjas of Pajamas are and what they're all about. No one has a break ever. Good. Wait, where if Cristiano Ronaldo ever has a break? No way. It should be the ending. Like the ending 24 7. In the Liquid game, which we played quite late, we did a few mistakes and some individual mistakes which lost us the game pretty much. Uh, we had a few uh, two-on-ones, uh, uh, fast uh, weapon switch, maybe. Nitro about to meet Dennis. It's unlikely he expects this angle, but look at that. That's some Jiggle Peak masterclass from Nitro. Not even just the Jiggle. Up high into the sky and round. It's enough to draw fire and get the information. Uh, and yeah, few mistakes which lost us the game. Liquid, a couple of frags, three to be precise, away from securing this best of one. They've had to work so hard. But now NIP, they have to work even harder. That's one from Rez, get right. He's not going down without a fight. The spray's bad, it's Famas life. And just Rez, they are low, they're soft, and he's ready, primed and ready to try and put up some fight, but no. Nip taking on Hellraisers. These teams as well, one and one. Playing to move on. Get right the back of the site. He's trying to open up with his AK-47. Can the King of Spray strike again? Yes, he can. Through the wall. Double spray down to Angel and Issa. And the round is done in a heartbeat. Low HP on these Hellraisers players. There's an opportunity for NIP, and it starts with that one. Oh, and a second Hellraisers had this round in the palm of their hands. And now Hobbit with four health. 
Perhaps it is. Able to dart away. Rez isn't exactly healthy. If he's going to be on the bomb. Hobbit, no, you need to peek. And Rez is going to get it once again. Up. I think we all played really well in those Devil Pass game. We all felt really confident. Our comms were on point and we all did good plays and everything. And, and we were all pretty much on the same page. That's why I think we did it. We played so well against them, and I think they didn't have an answer to anything we did in that way. Uh, so that's why we, I think we managed to crush them so hard. Gearing down long ranges, because they rotated two towards the B-bomb site, but... Well, what can you say? NIP going to be winning this one 16-5, to as Hobbit has dropped as well. Impressed with Nip Vince? Very much so, yeah. I don't think Hell Race really showed up to this game, but I don't want to take anything away from Ninja Pajamas. We definitely got the MIBR scene set. Mm. On the other side of things, NIP, this is the team that, you know, they've missed majors in the past. Challenger stage, that was the dialogue we had was, you know, can they actually get to the legend stage? Will they have to go through the minor brawl again? Not the case. They've done this, they've got the wins, but now, what is their ceiling? What, do you, what, what would you be your answer to that? <laughs> Sen kan vi alla sitta och surfa lite till tre tillsammans så bara woo! Man börjar lära sig lite. He is in a position to perforate some heads if they push on A main, but elsewhere Ivy is being engaged. This draws his attention elsewhere. Now A main is going to push in. They've got so much ground already covered. Here comes Coltera with the Desert Eagle. He's picked up two, make it three, and he's still somehow alive. But he's going to be on the right side of the smoke, plus the Molotov. This could really bait Nip into a horrible spot, but he goes out with a pop flash. There's two, the bombs dropped alongside it, and down goes Forest Cold Zera. Ice cold. So frustrating, they've got to be itching to get on this site. There's a small gap, actually a massive gap for Phelps over this smoke, and he can just bide his time, ready to strike. Switch across from Fur for a triple spray. And oh, the smoke's not great. Taco can get up on the coffins, he's getting a lot of information for his teammate, and in comes Dennis, he's gone down, Forrest now has to step up, and then forward! When we played MIBR, there was also a few mistakes made, winning the pistol and losing the second round. We weren't really on the same page uh, that game. We spoke about it and we figured out how to, how to fix it. Yeah, a few mistakes led to a heavy loss, but it's fixed now. It's something special to know that, that you're this close to becoming a, a legend again, specifically in majors. I don't think I will sleep well tonight, but it's just because I'm so eager to play the game. I'm so eager to grab it again, and it's something I've been looking forward to last time, because we felt that we could have won it last time against Mieber, for example. This time we didn't, but tomorrow is going to be another opportunity, it's going to be another round, it's going to be the last one for us, this one. We have to just grab it. We have to deliver. We have to do this for ourselves. There is no one in the world that can judge us more than our, ourselves. And I think everyone in the team are judging us so much. And we just need this one for the team. There's not like saying that we're going to crumble and you know be tired of playing each other or something like that. That would, that would not happen because everyone is super excited and happy with the team. It's just that we need this. And that's something everyone has to strive for. And I believe everyone in that practice room upstairs, when I'm going to get back off this little clip, I'm knowing they're gonna give everything for the practice and knowing they're gonna be prepared for tomorrow and be ready for a battle because it's gonna be very hard, but we're gonna come through.
I think they didn't expect us to be so good on it because we don't have any records on officials playing that map so they can't they can't really analyze us on it. Damage is actually more inflicted on the vitality side. The Deagle gets one kill. That's a low HP player. Force is gonna chime in. And now on IP can just wait. They don't have to be the aggressors, but they're winning every fight. RPK and Zai are gonna go down at the end and NIP are gonna respond in this third round. They turn it right back. I think we shocked them pretty much with everything we did. We had new stuff and they couldn't predict us in any way. And Forest now gonna claim two. It's also going to stop any aggression from the side. They've all been cleaned up nicely. Alex, the last player left. Four kills for Forrest, but he's not going to get the ace. Rez takes it away from him, but... I think Dennis is going to lead the way, but that's, this might be too long. And yeah, that, that seals it pretty much at the moment. And the follow-up certainly do. RPK. MBK and Zaiwu both feeling a sting, but Zaiwu comes out with one. Looking for a second and finds it through the smoke. Get right has been sent, relaying and he gets the third. Unbelievable individual effort from Zaiwu. Historically one of the best clutch players we've had in Global Offensive, and he's waiting in market. He knows MBK's on catwalk. Let's find Apex. They try and stop this, no one's covering it. MBK's not watching, they think it might be a flank, the bomb gets planted, Get Right's gonna do it! A double kill for the Legend, and NIP on five. Now they know as the smoke starts to rain out, this nade is gonna be a catastrophe for Vitality. I've got flashed a couple of times, this is where the Max 7's at its most prolific, and Lacro with two, make it three, nearly a fourth! Apex gets the buckshot to the face! Me and myself have never been a legend, so of course it feels like a goal achieved for me. It's pretty new to me, so I, I still want, I want, to, I want to stay in this spot for as long as I can, because this means so much to me. I will always have new goals when I reach something, so now I want to take the trophy instead. So we're playing Astralis on Friday. Uh, we're preparing a lot. We're practicing and relaxing, all the things you need to do to win a game. And I believe our chances are 50-50 right now. To win versus Astralis, we have to play our A game, we have to be confident, and we have to be in sync with each other. Men det ska vara med det imorgon till. Med det imorgon och tisdag, det jag tänkte. Och så är det off på onsdag. Så jävla roligt. Hon ser hela tiden, så bara spöks. Det är så bra. Jag håller i ryggen. Puss, puss. Jag ska rätta på det.